Hello guys, so welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be completing our tire series. Now we're going to be using this tire a little bit more in the future, but today we're going to be finishing it by adding the materials and also adding some more detail to this. Alright, so this is what the tire looks like now, and you just saw what it looked like in render mode, so let's get started by opening up our tire scene. <laughs> So now that we have our tire scene open in Blender, we can go ahead and start. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to be adding more detail to this tire and also adding the textures. We're also going to be making it look good in the Cycles Render engine. Alright, so let's start by obviously turning our engine to Cycles Render. That's very important. Next up, we need to actually unwrap this. So basically, what you want to do is select all of our wheel pieces here. Again, if you remember, we have four sides to this. We press U and Smart UV Project. This will take a very long time. Alright, so that took probably around two minutes to finish. Sorry if the recording is a little bit slow because the geometry here, there's a lot of uh, vertices. So, because of that, it takes a while to, to unwrap and also it, it may be slow in edit mode on the recording. That's okay. Alright, so hide the tire, select everything else, and then unwrap that too. Okay, so now that we've done that, go ahead and create two materials, and assign the rim to the second material. Call that material a rim, and the first one tire. There we go. Okay, so out of edit mode, this is much faster now, thankfully. Okay, so... Now we need the textures for this tire. So if you go into the description of this video, you can find a Dropbox link that sends you to all of the files for this mini-series. So go get, go download that, and, and you can have all the textures, the blend files, the everything, okay? So let's go ahead and find those textures. Alright, I have both of the textures that we're going to be using today open. Right here, so the metal texture, and also the tire texture, which for some reason is named original. That'll change for you guys. Okay, so now what do we do? We go to our tire texture, go into the node editor, and let's create a material for this. So first off, let's add a mix shader. In the second part of the mix shader, let's add a glossy. There we go. And next, after that, we're going to add a bump. Alright, and I'm going to explain these in a minute. Add an image texture to this, and select our entire texture. Duplicate that, change it to non-color data, and let's go ahead and connect everything up. Alright, so what does this bump do? This bump is for creating the bump off of this texture. So let's just say you don't have a normal map off of a normal texture. Let's just say you look up a, a texture and you download it. Let's just say you don't know how to create a normal map off of this. You can go into GIMP and you can do it, but that takes a while. In Blender, to fix that, you have this bump node. Basically, it takes the data from a non-color data image, like this one, and, it, and changes it into a bump map. Alright? So that way you can take a normal image and turn it into a normal map. Alright? So what we need to do now is connect our tire texture to both the diffuse or to just the diffuse. Next up, the bump needs to be connected to the diffuse and the glossy. And then our second image texture needs to be connected to the height of the bump map. Now over here, this looks fairly terrible. Let's change the distance to 0 0.05 and the strength down to 0.7. Now next, we can take the roughness and uh, make it around 0.45 Let's do 0.435. Mix shader can be changed to around 0.2. Alright, that works. And then the glossy color can be changed to a darker gray. Alright. There we go. Alright, so that is our tire. Alright, so if we go into material mode, it will suck. So don't do that. You're going to actually need to render this if you want to see it. But before we render it, let's go ahead and get the rim done. Okay. So what we want to do is practically the same thing for this one. So duplicate all of these, 
actually copy them. So control C and then paste them. Connect it to the surface and you're not done. We need to do a couple more things first. So change the texture over to our metal. The strength can be changed to 0 0.2 or the distance can and the strength can be changed to 0.6. And the glossy, we're going to want more of the glossy and a bright glossy too. And the roughness can be lowered. And again, let's change the strength down to a very low amount. There we go. So that's a pretty good rim texture right there, or rim material. Now let's render this. Press Shift B so that we can only render the tires so that it renders a bit faster. As you can see, so far the tire texture is looking okay. But the rim texture, the rim material, looks very bright and just not realistic. So let's go ahead and change that. Go back into our node editor, go to the rim material, and the glossiness can be changed so the roughness can be a bit higher. And it can be a bit darker, so more of a light gray. There we go. And the strength of the bump map can be lowered, and the distance can be changed to 0.1. There we go. And that's fairly good. And obviously the factor can be changed just a bit for the mix shader. Now let's try rendering this again. This looks much better. It still doesn't look realistic, but because this is a beginner series, that's okay. Alright, so while this is rendering, I'm going to point out a couple of things. You guys may have noticed these things right here. Oh, that is a big issue, right? Well, actually, I actually kind of like it. It kind of looks really cool. Now, if you want to change it, I'll go ahead and show you how to change it. But personally, I actually like that. Alright, so as you can see, our tire is half done rendering. So let's go ahead and change this right here. How do we change that? Well, for... Alright, so then now let's change the tire part right here. So the tire that's sticking out, we can edit that. But how do we do it? Because Wonder is very slow when we go into edit mode, right? So how do we change that? Okay, so first off, we can kind of go into edit mode. We're going to select just the tire part. And then press Shift H. Alright, so now that we can change this, let's go ahead and hide ha at least half of this. So we can press Z and hide most of this. We don't need a lot of this. Most of the detailed part can be hidden away. Okay, so next we can select each of the little rim parts there. Now for this, I'm just going to delete these parts. We don't need these. And there we go. So that is our tire. Now, what else do we do with this? Well, we can detail it. So if you want to, we can hide the tires this time. Alright, so after you hide the tire, we can go ahead and create some loop cuts on the rim part here. So we want to create some very small loop cuts. Because we're going to we want to create some detail on this. All right, now extrude that inwards. Or outwards, whichever one you want. All right, so that's a cool tire. Now, if we go into render mode and render this. And this is our finished tire right here. It looks pretty good. If you use light writing and uh, world setup, then it's going to look a lot better. Now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.